this video, we're going to be using Microsil to cast a tool mark impression. Now, ideally, you, if it was possible, you would bring the object that had the tool mark impression back to the lab with you. But if for some reason you cannot remove that object, you can go ahead and use Microsil to cast the tool mark itself and then bring that cast with you back to the lab for analysis. So here we have a doorknob and there is a tool mark impression on it. So we're going to go ahead and mix up some Microsil and cast that. Use the back of a fingerprint card to mix this up on. And we're going to draw two even lines of material, one with the Microsil. and one with the hardener. Mix that until everything turns white with this tongue depressor. Want to make sure that you mix it completely, that all of the blue disappears into the mixture. Now that's fully mixed. I'm going to take this material and spread it over this tool mark impression. Now this is going to take about 15 minutes to dry and harden all the way. So we're just going to let that set and we'll show you how to lift it when it's done. Now that the microsil is hardened, we can go ahead and peel this off, just starting from one side. Lift and peel. And you have an accurate impression of the tool mark. For further information on fingerprinting and crime scene investigation techniques, please visit our website at the Crime Scene Investigator Network. Thank you.